Hello, welcome. This is Mac McMillan, footwear design consultant with Gravity Sketch. Today I'm going to walk you through taking your 3D sketch into another program like Photoshop for a quick render. We pick up today where we left off with our wireframe sketch. And what I'm doing here is creating a new layer that I'm going to duplicate actually this layer by grabbing it and pressing my front trigger on my drawing controller. And I'm gonna turn off my original last layer and I'm gonna use this last shape as some internal blocking. Basically, I change the color to white and flat. And what that will do is block my sketch lines on the back side of this 3D sketch. So I went ahead and turned that layer off so I could grab all of my sketch lines. And I'm gonna also put that on a flat shader and change it to black. Now you can make it whatever color you want for your Photoshop work. Now one way I had blocked out the back side sketch lines was using that last. This is another way you can do it using the volume tool. Same process, I have it on flat white and I'm just holding the front trigger down and quickly filling my sketch with a volume. Its sole purpose is to hide design lines on the back side of the sketch. So that way, I, when I go and take screenshots, I won't have extra lines convoluting my sketch. The hair you see, I kind of broke through my sketch itself. I just take that volume shape I had made and put it into edit mode. And I just push some of those points back into the sketch itself. So there's no intersections. I don't have to make it really precise or really, it's fine if there's gaps near the edges. I'm gonna get my screenshot tool out, find it on the non-drawn controller if you twist it to look at the inside trigger. And important things here is transparent background. I like to keep my background something other than white so I can see what I do with my volume tool. Now here I'm gonna go back to using the last as my internal blocker. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in edit mode, and I'm gonna use soft select here. Push that volume around to fill my sketch. Now you see the middle part of that top portion of the last is blocking my the backside collar lines. So I'm gonna push that down. This honestly is a, if you use the last as a reference, this is a much faster way to do it. So when I had done this sketch for my tooling, I actually used the same curves for my top line and kind of my bottom profile line. And so what I'm doing here is creating a sub D surface between those two curves. I'm using bridge curves and full curve settings for that surface type. Here, I front triggered on some edges to give myself some more edit points to work with so I can push and pull, kind of fill out the midsole a little more. Now after the sketch, I didn't really have an outsole, so I'm not spending too much time on it, but I will put one more surface across the bottom, and I'm going to use the ribbon stroke here on point mode, and this is just an easy way for me to quickly block out the bottom outsole in a real clear way. And here I'm just changing the colors so I can see what I'm doing. I'm only adding more points when I need them.
So when this is done, I'll change it to flat white as well. Got to check it from all views. Let's see it kind of sticking down there at the bottom. There we go. So instead of just all flat white, you could use a clay shader or some of the other shaders to go ahead and apply some level of shading to your surfacing. And that's only if you really did enough surfacing to, to give you the shading that you actually want. I think I used the clay shader and changed my lighting to get some shadows. So when I take my screenshots, it'll capture that. Just doing some pile tweaks. So I'll use a screenshot tool for things like my three quarter view, some dramatic vantage points. Now, I like to adjust my field of view around 20 millimeters, but feel free to adjust that if you want something more dramatic. Now each one of these is saving to the same place where I have this file located. As you start taking other views, you notice you might need to adjust your blocking. Turn it back on flat, and I think I'm gonna do some orthographic views. Now your view might look a little different than this. You might have to do these one at a time. I'm tethered when I'm doing this, so I can pull out multiple views at once. But essentially you just grab that view, display it in the orthographic view port, and there's a little camera icon, and you just front trigger on that to capture that screenshot of an orthographic view, depending on which one you pulled out in the space. Now I'm gonna save this version of my sketch just so I don't get confused with my original sketch or any servicing I might do later for a model. Now I'm gonna to go to landing pad. I'm going to locate where these downloaded, in this case, personal files, and I'm gonna hit the little download button. All right. Now I'm in Photoshop, create a new file. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in my new sketches. I like to start with colored back. All right, so the only trick you have to do here is scale, position, and put the sketches on multiply and it'll knock out your blocking. And then it's really up to you on how you want to render. But it gives you a great base. All the views are reconciled. I usually start off by blocking out my whole object and that'll give me a nice layer to reference for things like shading, material.
Here you can see my full layout. Just gonna add a little vignette. I'm doing this on a Cintiq and using Photoshop, but same process would work for Procreate and iPad. I usually do some highs, some lows, usually shade out my upper separately from my tooling. Usually add some highlight colors and a few textures on important parts of my design. I'll add my shadows here as well. I find I don't have to render out every single view. Usually I pick one or two, develop different aspects of them. Just shading out the collar. Apply a little knit texture. Here we're gonna pop this little generative pattern in the heel. And with highlights. So I had to go ahead and sketch in some lugs. Give it a little trail feel. Last time for some call outs. All right, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. 3D Sketch to 2D Render.